So one thing now um, that I like uh, going over is if you get beat, you just get beat on your shot, especially when it's a high crotch, the guy's doubling across, and you know you're about to get taken down. Then what I like to do is, is try and go for a stalemate as opposed to giving up a takedown. I definitely don't want to do something, you know, so, so uh, I'm not comfortable with and I put myself on my back, but I can put the guy into a position where it's going to be hard for him to score his takedown and I can get a stalemate. And then as you get better in this position, you can turn it from a stalemate into a takedown of your own. So this guy's going to go high crotch, and it goes high crotch, and I try and sprawl. Ready? I'm going to just give him a light sprawl, and Nick doubles up, and I get beat. Right? I might be trying to post my hand and get my legs back, ideally. This would be great if I could do this, but maybe he locks his hands. Okay? So what I need to do, let's turn this way. Okay, what I need to do is try and lock in the crotch. So my left hand, again, needs to go elbow deep, and I'm going to catch, I'm going to grip my hands together here. Okay? And now this guy, he's, there's no takedown here. So he's, he's trying to wrap my legs. He might, the other thing that I do is I scissor my legs so this guy can't turk. Because if he steps through and turks the leg, that's going to be a takedown. You know, if he steps over my top leg, I could fight it a little bit longer. I might be able to hold off, but a lot of times that's going to be two also. So I scissor my legs, and I keep my legs bent so they're away from his, ability, from his feet, so it prevents his ability to hook them. So I bend my knees as I scissor my feet. And I'm just going to hold here. You know, if, I, if, I'm, if you're comfortable enough to just stay here and wait for the stalemate, excellent. If, you get, if you're really comfortable here and you develop a good feel in here, what I can do is I can squeeze. I'm going to hold on for the stalemate. And I'm going to wait for this guy. Maybe it's short time. Maybe he's, you know, really aggressive. He's trying to score. So he's driving into me. And once I get his hips up as they are now because he's driving into me, I'm going to roll him through. So I roll him through and bring my hips up. And this is a common position we've been in several times. Now I've, my chest is higher than him. I got him in a bad position. I sprawl, right? And now I cut the corner. I keep this grip until I walk my feet around and I get my takedown. So again, it's not my first line of defense, but I got beat. I know I'm going to give up the takedown. Maybe it's OT, and I can't give up the takedown. OK, I block. I block. He beats me. Look at that angle he's got. OK, so I got to square up. I got to get my legs back enough to where I can get in the crotch. Maybe I have to post my hand. I, I lock my hands. OK, scissor my feet. I don't leave my legs extended here so he can hook them. OK, I bend them. So I could stay here as long as I want. OK, now if he rolls, if I feel him driving, his hips come up, I'm going to kick my legs over and use my force and thrust him, that momentum, over as my legs come up. He's not in a good position here. I sprawl and I, and I scoot. I just turn. If he's still got this leg, right, that's fine. I just got a hook. And now right away, instead of staying down here low, my weight needs to go high. 